from Kwazana Extension have bemoaned the health hazards posed to them by lack of regular refuse collection by the local authorities. Japers are a mundane site at dam sites across Sarare, and this comes down to the inefficiencies of the local authorities, the residents have said. They have also expressed disgruntlement due to the reluctance of council to collect refuse as the schedule. No marasa kuno go gatango no tukuneti sango, nina yokuti ma pampa yokutima chenget, ano pesi da ku zeresa uchina mba se mzime o kwan si kuna bongo nema pampa mba. Wuzi mruma no zokoti ufiti chine kuti mumba. Asma zme machin chikuti vatza mare vazi yonema pampa kuno kuma bini kuno. Ina o yokuti a pana vema sito farada vasku kwan so tuta kuraji marara in time. Kesus ma pampa edu, tunungo isa mba saga imu mema bini medu. To <laughs> Vashoma, Matsmaya ne Utana ne oh, kuti akabisa mwana wake pamba anokwanisa kuri watch ori nanika koso nipisa. Uye zvakare kana uchiroja sesha nambo tarot kana uchiroja zvikwanisike kuti kuti udaro kozo anti mapamba nyaro kuti semesa. Kuti chiona pama pama pamba ipapo. Mhm. Saka kuru dzire nyi ndechi ku ku gamu kunyanyanya kutakatarisa panyaya dzekutakurwa kwa mapamba. Kuru dzire dundi yekuti Eva to Kurumizi Roku, Tikanari, Vakawam Suesand, Wotzoka Shakaram Suesand, Kanawakawam Sue Friday, and Gavazoka Shakaram Sue Friday, which is Shadu Stifambers and Anagot Mapamba Kurumizi. Civil society organizations like Harare Residence Trust have been on record urging responsible authorities to be consistent with waste management and stick to their refuse collection schedule. Communities are faced with a huge health risk if the situation is left unabated. Regularized waste dumping sites also have to be availed if sanity is to be restored. In a similar report, Media Center Zimbabwe hosted a webinar this Tuesday dubbed Media Intervention on Water Sanitation and Hygiene in Zimbabwe's urban areas. It is in this virtual meeting that such concerns as water provision and refuse collection were raised by various panelists who took turns to pour out their sentiments on these subjects. Harare Residence Trust Director Mr. Precious Shumba raised a red flag on the councillors who complain about the structural setup of the Harare Metropolitan Province, citing that they are aware of this bureaucracy before running for councillor's office. He also noted that solving Harare Council's problems is not a structural debate, but a question of efficiency in the operations of office bearers. Council superiors must read corruption in the procurement of water sanitization chemicals and follow the right process of awarding tenders and not choosing selected individuals for this purpose. Alice Kuvea of Chitunguza Residence Trust also made note of the unbearable circumstances that the women of Chitunguza are having to go through as they battle in the quest for water, which is in short supply from the council. Women have to face the chill of night as they wake up as early as 3 a.m. in order to be the first to get water from the few bowls that are available. Rape cases, gender-based violence against women, and emotional abuse are some of the exploitations that women are embattled with on a daily basis in the quest for clean water. Other speakers who spoke on the virtual meeting are Media Monitors Director, Mrs. Patience Zirima, MDC Alliance Deputy Secretary for Local Government, Mr. Jacob Mafume, and Hard Life Mudzinkwa, Community Water Alliance Officer. Reporting for Community Voices, I am Justice Mufiri. Mm-hmm.